<laughs> You're not seeing things. Look at that. $8 a gallon for gas at a Chevron station in downtown L.A. Oh, my goodness. Ouch. Ahead of the summer travel season, gas prices continue to break records with no sign in sight. Yeah, no relief in sight, yeah. despite promises from Governor Newsom and state legislatures. Phil, legislators, Phil Schumann, he is live in downtown with the latest. Phil. Well, Christine Butler, despite these higher prices, uh, Memorial Day travel, I'm told by the folks at our AAA, is actually up compared to last year. Meantime, when it comes to giving us Californians relief from our pain at the pump, perhaps with some of that $100 billion surplus we've reported on, so far it's all talk and no action. We know gas prices are climbing, but more than $8 a gallon? That's the reality at this Chevron station at Alameda and Maine in downtown Los Angeles. Eddie Mariscal's BMW was on empty. That's the only reason he stopped here. What did you think when you saw those numbers? Oh, man, this is crazy, man. I need a gas. I'm on, I'm on empty, and then, you know, I'm like, oh, this is my nearest gas station. I have to get down the freeway down the street. So I'm like, eight bucks. I'm like, well, I'm only going to get 20 bucks. Gas prices up for the third straight day here in Southern California, with L.A. County leading the way. Though those numbers apparently did not deter Memorial Day motoring, which is up over last year. And the auto club's Doug Shoup says, be prepared. Their research shows prices most likely will continue to rise. The big question is, is how high will these prices go? How long will they stay elevated? And the reality is nobody really knows right now. It's all going to depend on the situation between Russia and Ukraine, which is, you know, causing global oil supply concerns, and that's putting upward pressure on the crude oil prices. And where is that much talked about relief from the state of California? Governor Newsom's plan to give each car owner $400 up to two vehicles per person that's not going anywhere fast. Other Dems want to send $200 to each person in financial hardship, car or no car. There's even disagreement on which state agency would administer the relief program. Also a non-starter, the Republican-backed plan to repeal the state's 51 cent per gallon gas tax for at least a year, despite repeated pleas from five Republicans who spoke out in Sacramento just last week. We need to provide this relief. People have waited far too long. So now we're talking about September or October, Christina Marlowe, before the Democratic-controlled legislature can agree on something, a budget's approved, and this actually happens. Uh, meantime, here at this gas station, not a lot of cooperation from the folks behind the counter and getting in touch with the owners. Obviously, they're legally allowed to charge whatever they can, but everybody that I talked to that was buying gas here was doing it only because they were literally on fumes. Live downtown, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News. And, and Phil, that nine behind you, that $9, is that deep? Diesel? That's diesel, right, which is a whole other story, oh. which we really haven't got into too much. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I, I've not seen eight anywhere. Wow. All right, Phil, thank you. Just skip right over seven.